I found this shaft at the scrapyard and uh, yes the bearing over here is perfect but the thing what I need to get is over here like these are the bearings which I need for the steering wheel which is going to be mounted over on the top perfect hole so I can just uh, go slightly bent over here believe it I did it perfect even the welding turned out amazing as you can guys see Finger cross guys because I had tried off camera and uh, you can see what happened it just went totally bad so let's just try once more I hope this time it will work perfectly I think so this much is enough last time I went a little bit more and uh, when it in basting the piece, I think so this much is enough. Yes, it opened up a little bit, which is plenty I think so for me.
right guys so got the steering wheel mounted out yes there is a kind of play which can be finished over here there is a lock missing so i'll do that later on now let's just test out the steering wheel okay yes i need to get a new shocks for this one let's just test it out yes it is working perfect yeah it is kind of hard but not that hard enough but uh, yes it's working perfect i need to reduce the cut because this is way too much it's just coming all the way in and hitting the petrol tank and even on this side also still not stopped it wants to go more but yeah the tire has touched the petrol tank so i think so i have to go this much of the steering working like uh, which I need to readjust the bottom part. Alright guys, so now I need to make a counter shaft for the Mercedes. And uh, for the counter shaft, I have got like uh, three sprockets and uh, a bearing assembly out of a quad bike. And also the shaft which comes uh, with this quad bike. So I had got a spline for this one over here so i have one spline with me now the things is that for the rear sprocket which i'm using over there is out of this chain this is 530 chain and uh, this is 420 chain even the same 420 chain so now the thing is that i need to get this thing out of here and uh, get this sprocket fitted on this lines and uh, this sprocket out of here means which I need to get it somewhere in the center. Like I need to find out the exact center point over here. So I have got a marking over here like temporary marking which I have done a long before. So somewhere over here and uh, this sprocket will go to the engine. So this is the splines for the engine. Which is just going to be welded over here. I don't have any other option than welding this thing because uh, if I just go ahead and drill it or drill this thing it's a nightmare to drill a small sprocket and even I'll just uh, weaken up the sprocket so it's better I'll just weld up the entire place so that uh, it will be perfect it will not break or it will not do any damages to the sprocket so let's just start by getting this rocket out and uh, fitting this rocket over here
I need the bearing over here to be connected to the engine over here so there's already a bracket over here you can see it is already ready made which came with this engine but uh, in order to get this thing installed means this thing is getting in the way because I cannot just uh, go ahead and install it up like this so before while installing this I thought I'll make a new one but uh, why do we just waste metal and time let's just save time by reusing this thing over here so in order to do this means I have to cut out the pipe this pipe from here and uh, install this figure out a way to get this thing attached from somewhere else any place and also I need to keep in mind that uh, I can just easily remove this this bracket afterwards also so I have to make it like this or else I have to make this bearing support for the steering from somewhere else or bolt system or whatever but let's just cut it out first I did trim out a little bit of here but uh, still there is a support main support over here and uh, the complete other side is still remaining just a slight bit of trimming from here and uh, And yes, it worked out perfect. I need to strengthen up this bit of uh, area so I'll just strengthen this thing up once uh, I disassemble it so I'll just do it because it will be easy for me to strengthen this thing up so other than that everything is done now I can work on the center of the chassis and uh, try to strengthen this thing up because uh, the frame from the beginning till the end it's not supported with a single pipe also only this thing supporting is like uh, the bearing assembly which I used over here is supporting the upper and the lower chassis so I'm thinking to add a pipe over here like next to this bearing assembly and also there and uh, yes to little bit closer like uh, adding a small pipe over inside over here the main thing of all let's just strengthen up the main chassis of this 